I was gonna say. <laughs> I, was, I, I don't really know too much about you, Lucian. I do know you're a chill ass dude, though. Oh, okay, it just lets me in this time. Fucking leg off. Buckle. Isaac. What have we done? Where is everyone? No, this guy Every can't die. Facility up the ridge. We found snowsuits, but there weren't enough to go around, so I decided to stay behind. There might be more down in the basement. Might be. How the oh, no. And we heard something scratching around down there, so we didn't... <laughs> we didn't check. Buckle. Oh shit, no! Oh. Not the most interesting person I have to say, but I'm not normal. That's what we'd all say about ourselves, I feel like. That's what we'd all say. Hi, brother. It's almost 2 a.m. I'll see my next stream. here. You're doing so you have to make peace, bro. I will be going. I actually won't be streaming tomorrow. Um, because I'm going to be partying. But I will be back with Rocket League possibly on Monday. So uh, enjoy your weekend, Fido. Thank you so much for stopping by, my dude. Um, appreciate it. Thank you for the support. Catch you next time. Do find I'll be awake for the rest of the stream. Atta boy, come on. Crackhead hours, baby. You and me. Okay, actually, okay, I can go this way. There we go. Yeah, yeah, I know. My body temperature's low. Nice, nice. Start this bad boy up! Let's go! See you, brother. Wait, I'm dumb. Why are you dumb? I'm dumb, too. That sounds so satisfying. When your body temps you just so warm, warm in you. Oh shit. Oh shit. He's up my ass. You just need something inside you. Just need something hot and thick inside you. Warm you up, you know? I don't know why, why was that so satisfying? Cancer recovery module, new circuit found, let's go! Plus two damage. Replace that. Oh boy, okay. Uh, can we do some crafties? What do we got? Small med pack. Yes, please. Dude, my fucking... Like, why did my stream do that? Everything planned apart from tomorrow? Um, yeah, actually, so my old roommates, they're having like a joint birthday party. Because their birthdays are close. 
It's actually pretty cool. We're gonna like separate all the friends into different teams. We're gonna do a bunch of games like an uh, egg race and a fucking flip cup competition and all this shit. We're just gonna get hammered. This is Private Sam Ackerman, 41st Engineering. I told him not. And then Sunday we're gonna see the Mario movie. Then they started changing. Became sensitive to bright light. Just shining my flashlight would send them into a violent rage. I disabled the elevator to trap them down there. Beer pong, probably, yep. Yeah, yeah. their souls. Some other sh crazy shit, I'm sure. More. Yeah, it's gonna be a good time. So that's why I will not be streaming tomorrow. What the fuck? Like an emaciated child. What the fuck, dude? How long have these freaks been in here? Seen the live action Peaches song on Jack Black's Insta? No, I haven't. I didn't even know there were songs in the movie till the other day. I heard that like this one of the songs was up for an award or some shit. It's like a Wendigo. It's like a goddamn. Oh god, it's saving. It's saving. It's like some fucked up shit. Oh, this is where they're gonna come and try to get me, I know it. Oh, wow. I just tripped out, I thought one was looking at me through the wall. Holy fuck! Jesus Christ, dude. Is the Peaches song good, though? Does it, uh, does it slap? As the kids say. My exam's starting the 15th of May. Oof. That's right, coming in the end of the semester. classes you take in. Why do they always gotta have some enemy that can just swarm you? Personal log, Sam Ackerman. Three days, <laughs> I've been quiet. Hiding in the dark. I have to get to the radio, call for help. I think there may be a way around them by throwing small objects. I can, I can, I can trick them into investigating the noise. Ackerman! Is that you? Oh, God. I smell you! I smell... Bridgman! What the fuck? They're feral, dude. They're fucking feral. It does indeed slap my brother like me in bed. Woo! Tell which ones are alive and which aren't. Bottle nothing, bottle nothing. Oh god. Oh! Oh shit! hands in the west, baby. Ugh. Fuck me, dude. Why are you gonna take away a clip to give me damage? Just let me be a fucking beast. Broaden your horizon. I thought stealth was an option. I threw something small and really shit. 
I would love to be a little stealthy this part. Mmm, the pump room, giggity. What exams you gotta take, man? God, the fucking door. Fifteen, bro. Come on. No way. Are you in high school or college? Triple science. I'm skipping on my French one's gonna revise other shit. Two re-exams. Three maths. Wait, what are re-exams? A food tech. God damn, dude. Religious education? Jeez, bro, what... What are you... Doing? What are you... <laughs> what are you studying for? <laughs> or is this... Is this like... This is kind of all over the place. Are you doing... Are you in high school? Except from SCAF Legionary Handbook. Surviving sub-zero temperatures. You're required to wear the Arctic survival suit when exiting the compound, no matter how small the duration. Zero tolerance. No exceptions. Do not use suits with obvious worn seams, tears, or loose seals in the helmet. Turn these into requisitions immediately. A hole, however small, is enough to let the cold in, leading to death in less than one minute. And how is my fucking face out that whole sequence? Getting in here. Use of the catheter and colonic systems is mandatory. In the event you are caught outside for an extended period, bodily fluids can compromise the suit's insulation. Catheter and colonic systems are sterilized after each use and are perfectly safe. Keep your suit seals free of ice at all times. Do not stomp snow off your boots as the reverberations will damage the catheter and colonic systems. Fuck this, dude. High school, okay. Two to three English. Bro, you were not kidding. 15? What is this? Yeah, average age for college is 18. What are they doing to you guys in high school now? What the f- I would take like seven classes, maybe. Cross we leave high school at 16, I see. Oh. I'm assuming I was supposed to wait for that. I just didn't. Woo! Yeah, buddy. Yeah, that's insane. Okay, so what is... You leave high school at 16, so you go to university after 16. It's kind of wild. <laughs> <coughs> oh, God. <coughs> I just inhaled it. <coughs> oh, God, sorry. 
<clears throat> for sixth form, like a college, but in high school, similar stuff. Okay. Taking biology, chemistry, psychology, or religious studies. So that's triple science. I see. <coughs> God damn you! That's so much. College is sixteen to eighteen, and then what's what's after that? <coughs> is that what you guys call university? God, I'm so dumb, dude. wrong. <coughs> Wait a minute. Uni is like 18. So, okay, that, that's right. That's that's what you guys call uni. Okay, that makes sense. I don't know there are puzzles. Yeah, there's little mini puzzles. There's some cool, there's usually some like uh, hacking games or whatever. Little mini games. It was funny, I was just bragging about you. Time for the emaciated children. Did you just pick you just picked up one of his buddies to try and use his shield. I was bragging to you, uh, bragging to Fido about you. <clears throat> about your uh, sick ass career. told me he's like got a whole uh, shelf full of comics. I was like, you need to talk to Faye. And then I was like, you know what? I'm just going to brag. I'm just going to brag about her. Blood Depot key. Nice. Take the security key and head to Depot 212. I haven't heard a thing from Sergeant Lumley, not since the Franklin incident last week. I'm sure I do not have to express the importance of the supplies. Find out what happened to Lumley and more importantly, <coughs> secure our food and ammunition. He also missed the stream cutting out for no reason. And I somehow restarted with no, uh... A snowsuit is required past this point. We restarted with no issues somehow. The Arctic Survival Suit has been unlocked! Let's go! The Arctic Survival Suit is woven with classified scaff synthetic fibers that insulate the body from extreme cold and protect the nipples. Trying to force myself to make dinner. The struggle. The daily struggle. Oh yeah, baby. Time for my penis to shrink. Air! Hit points. Riggs hit points. 
Please, come on. Oh, I'm so close, dude. Four away. Duration, that would be nice. Recharge. Up upgrade the number of shots. This would also be very nice. God damn, dude. <gasps> I can do damage of Kinesis. But hit points would be really nice. So I just need somatic gel. Okay. Energy. The radius and lifetime of stasis. That would be kind of nice, actually. Recharge, whatever. Oh. Yeah, I think I think we made the right choice. We'll do hit points next time. <clears throat> yeah, I should have just gotten some bulk frozen meals or something because everything is probably made. I'm dude. I <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Ever since I think it was like. When was it? It was a couple months back. I came back from Orlando and I was just feeling, I was kind of in a slump, like I was in a depressive slump where taking care of myself just kind of fell like down on my priority list as it does. And uh, my way of eating to like stay healthy and support my, my workout routines and shit is already pretty streamlined to the point where like someone normal that like eats normally and enjoys different things regularly like brie for example doesn't really like eating the way that i eat because everything is so peeled back and simple um and i took that to fucking 11 after that and since then i've basically been been carrying on with that that like way of doing things for breakfast, I literally make a fucking egg loaf. Like I just pour egg whites and an egg into like a little Pyrex dish. And I like cut up some tomatoes, throw them in there, season it. And I throw it in the oven for like 20 minutes. And then I throw some bread in the oven too. To, I don't have a toaster. I throw some bread in the oven to like crisp it up. And then I literally just slice the egg loaf in half, put it on the bread and I eat it. That's my breakfast. The oven, the oven does all the work. I literally put it in there and I work. And then I go and grab it and then I eat. <laughs> but it's got vegetables, it's got seasoning, and it tastes great. Like the bread that I use is like multi-grain, it's healthy, it's really good. Um, and it's high protein too. That's kind of the, uh, that's kind of the uh, theme that I have going in terms of like the effort that I put into my meals. Okay, that's a terrible name for that. Dude, <laughs> I'll have to send you. I'm going to take a picture of it tomorrow. Remind me to take a picture of it. I'm going to put it in the Discord. I'm going to put a picture of it in the Discord tomorrow. <laughs> it's, it looks ridiculous. It looks terrible. You ever tried Eggy Bread? The, same as, the name is very literal. No, I haven't. No, I haven't. Sounds great, though. I love eggs and bread. Clearly. Clearly. <laughs> I feel like I'm if Isaac Clark went to visit the Starks from Lord of the Rings. That's the guy that we played at the beginning of the, played as at the beginning of the game. We got absolutely clapped. 
Wait. Oh. Oh. Okay. Now I know where we are. I get a basket's great, dude. That's a great option. Takes five minutes. Yeah, dude, that's perfect. Absolutely perfect. Well, what was his name? Mason? Mert? Myrtle? He was a good teammate, and his voice actor had a very, very satisfying voice to listen to. We gotta give him a proper burial, guys. We can't just leave him here. He was very helpful. He didn't really do any work, but he gave us great advice on how to fix things. And, uh... He had a great voice. Oh, doesn't let us stomp him into bits. Lame. It's eggs mixed in something like a roasting dish, like rectangular, the egg yolks and the whites are mixed, dip eggs in it. Just put it on a frying pan. Oh, okay. Nice for Frank again. Interesting. So you dip the you dip the the bread in the eggs and then you fry it. That sounds really quick too. Yeah. Okay. That's what I thought. <laughs> really nice for frying. Can be sweet or savory. Interesting. Yeah, but you can make up some uh, like whip up some nice sauce, some sazul. Okay, I think, um, oh, a shotgun, nice, nice. I kind of want to upgrade the, I don't want to upgrade the uh, the suit, so I'm going to go back down now that I have these resources. Jesse, Jesse, I need to cook up five million points. You're trying to trying to get me to name your my kid after you. Points, baby. Let's go. I can also do air, but why the fuck would I want to do air? We have so much air. <gasps> yes, we can do damage of kinesis. Actually met someone who was called Lucy at birth. That's a sick ass name. Do you like your name? Oh, you changed your name. Wait, like you legally changed your name? From what to what? You don't mind doxing yourself. <clears throat> to the two viewers we have here. Is this why I chose it? Okay. No, I love that. Alright, now we're safe from the cold, boys. Let's go. Hi, 
Anti wind area. I leave here, I gotta be older, I'll also come out. <laughs> You've come out on Twitch, now you gotta come out on, uh, come out IRL. Do your IRL friends uh, call you Lucian? <laughs> oh, if I aim, I can just move faster. Beautiful. Come on, leave me a flare, Ellie. I haven't seen a flare in a while. They're actually shooting this. Oh, it scared me, it scared me. Oh! I can I can totally understand how you would want to take it one step at a time and stuff like that. I can totally understand. I mean, I can't really imagine like what the the whole experience is like, obviously. But um, from what I learned from friends and and. Uh, family that have come out it's it's not <laughs> people have a hard time with that shit <laughs> people have a hard time like people close to you sometimes have a hard time understanding that shit Less stress to just ease into it. Oh shit! Yeah, get up there, big boy. Come on. Ooh. Which are the boys? Alright, what do we have over here? Is this the facility that we're going to? Imagine. It's a big old compound.
Походу, это пирамида. Is just uh, LGBT peeps, both in the same school. Pretty much really know that I have a BF, a gender thing. Again, not yet, but the others are starting to call me Lucy and Lucy outside the school. Wrong colors. That's cool, man. I've been here too often, venting to a stream at almost 3 a.m. <laughs> I guess it's a hobby. Hey, man. I mean, I appreciate you sharing, you know? Appreciate it. I know that shit's not easy, man. It's not easy. I know my sister, um, it was so funny, dude. My sister came out to me at a movie theater, like sometime in college, I think it was. She told me she was like so fucking nervous. She was like, dude, I was so, I didn't, I was worried, like, what are you going to say? And, uh, she, and she's like, <laughs> She turns to me like before the preview start, like we were just chatting it up normally. She turns to me before the preview start and she goes, I don't remember exactly what she said, but she's like, I, you know, so, uh, hey, I want to tell you something. I was like, yeah, what's up? She's like, I'm gay. And I'm like, oh, all right, cool. And then like there was a hot chick in one of the previews and we both looked at each other afterwards and we were like, <laughs> it's funny, man. I can't even imagine what it's like. Like every every single person you 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 tell, you're probably worried about some kind of reaction. It's helpful to tell people about it and you get to know me. Exactly, bro. Exactly. Way to connect. Die in the face. <laughs> she can corroborate the story. <clears throat> can't remember what movie we were seeing, but <gasps> the light! Let me guess, this is where Big Chungus is gonna come out and try to fuck me in the ass. Ah, there she is. This is definitely my best coming out experience. Aw. Oh, I'm honored. I'm coming, I'm coming! Let me just grab these items real quick. Ellie, just hold them off. Are you there? Isaac! Oh my god! He's alive? Great. Ellie, it's so good to hear you. Hey, voice. fuck you, Norton. How did you make it? The ship! We thought you Put were dead. Put your trail of flares. Are you guys alright? I saw Carver. Yeah, yeah, we're fine. Carver's close. We can hear you. Isaac, please hurry up and get here. We're in central command. I'll be there as fast as I can. Alright. It was Black Swan? No way. <laughs> hey, that's great. It is funny I can imagine. See some people find you. Yeah, that's just kind of how it happened. It was great. That was great. Mm. Well, I mean, if like <clears throat> your group of friends, the boys, they know, you know, you know, you got a BF. Like, I can't imagine they're. You know, hopefully they'll be it as. Uh... Understanding about the gender thing when you decide to bring it up. You ever been told you sound similar to Critical? Many times, many times. I think you're the fourth person that said it actually. So not that many, but once it happens, I feel like once it happens three times, like it's like, you know, 
I've always said I need to I need to start working on my uh, impression of him because I'm halfway decent at impressions. It could be fun. Armor. I'm gonna save up some uh, some more somatic gel. <clears throat> I could definitely be in the uh, the MCU. The most critical universe. You know those guys that like dress up as him and in impersonate him? Oh, fucking of course. Oh! How did I know this would be the spot where this motherfucker comes out? Whoa! Retreat, bitch. Retreat. He's weak. We just one shot at that part. Let's fucking go, chat. <clears throat> Thing is, I wouldn't care as much about my school year knows, but I don't want to be where you gave the voice. Oh yeah, I see what you mean. I see what you mean. I feel like certain certain people would be cool with that, but I mean, I don't, I don't really know, you know, those, obviously I don't know your friends and shit. You should join the Moist Verse, I just read it, Monk Gorilla Cheeks. That's what we're all about here. Clapping them Gorilla Cheeks. I get that being generous. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah, I can I can imagine like that being more complex. I feel like you know what you want to fuck, you know? You're like you see you see someone and you're like, yeah, I'd fuck that. Or no, I wouldn't fuck that. I can definitely I can definitely imagine the gender fluidity thing being Being a bit more nuanced.
The fuck just happened? That's never happened the whole game. We're in the facility, lads. We made it. It's a pretty little little scene here. Light streaming through. Yeah, gentrification confusion is a bitch. It's harder minefield to wade through, at least for me. You don't want things to change, but at the same time, needing parts of things to change. Interesting. So you're kind of like... By you don't want things to change, are you like clinging to, to like aspects of yourself that you don't want to change, but some of them you feel like you need to? Dysphoria is a bitch. You don't want to lose people or anything, so I still, I still... Oh, I see, I see. I should have kept reading. Interesting. Do you feel like you need to, to lose important parts of yourself? You mean like parts of yourself that like got you to where you are but aren't serving you anymore? For real? Yep, I do want to get piercing at some point. The only piercings I have are these gauges here. I don't have any tattoos, but I got some piercings. Let me turn up the lights a little bit. I got one in each ear. Little guys. There's little tunnels. Oh my god, I'm bad at this. I don't want to go any uh, higher. I wanted to see how high I could go without um, irreversibly damaging my ears, and this is as high as I could go. I think I'm at four or two. I can't remember. But I like them. I got like tapers as well. The tapers are sick. <clears throat> two black studs. That's easy peasy, baby. I got pierced at like a 14 because I told them I wanted to get there. Like, are you sure you want to gauge? Like from the start, because we don't want to pierce you at like a 20 or 22 and then have to make you like size up from there all the way to a four. So they pierced me at a 14. So the fucking, the needle was like, the needle was like almost like this big. Not that long, obviously, but like the thickness, it was pretty thick. <clears throat> Yeah, that too. It's trying to figure out what parts of you are you and what parts of you. I see. I see. I see what you mean. Bro, I, dude. I, uh, so much of me is, is like... When I'm around people, like I just go into this fucking people pleasing mode. It's crazy. I'm trying to stop it. I'm getting better about it, but. Exactly what parts other people want. Or what you think, and most often it's what you think they want. Artifact discovered. Excerpt from Scaffold Legionary Handbook, Addendum 12 concerning Necromorphs. The attacks we suffered so far have cost us many lives, but left us without with valuable le lessons. The shambling creatures, shambling. These motherfuckers are sprinting. The shambling creatures the science teams are calling necromorphs appear to be made of the dead remains of other creatures, including our fallen soldiers. This this is disturbing, disorienting, and shocking on first sight. Steal yourselves, as it may be a psychological ploy of the creatures to weaken us. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Critically important. Shoot for the limbs. They otherwise keep coming and will behead you before you can reload. Body and headshots essentially waste ammunition. So you must quickly retrain your basic marksmanship. Never allow a breach of the outer wall. A single creature can take out an entire wing and begin a replication process within minutes. Yeah, these are naughty boys. All in my ears had multiple cards and loads. Did you get rid of them all? I can't remember. Personal log, Private R. Blatty. Night and day, it's always the same. They come shambling out of the storms, trying to get in. 
It's not easy following orders. You see familiar faces all the time. Sometimes they see you, and they lock eyes, and there's a glimmer of recognition. Like they remember what it was like to be on the other side of the wall, safe and warm, and alive. Holy shit, we're finding blueprints now. We just passed a certain point in the game, and we're just finding blueprints everywhere. I'm okay with it. That space is fucking horrifying, dude. The shit that this man has been through... He literally, I don't know if you saw the beginning of the second game, Lucian, but this motherfucker watched someone transform into a necro necromorph in front of him. One of the aliens grabbed onto this dude that was helping him. They grabbed onto his head, stabbed him in the fucking forehead, and inserted the fucking infection into him, pulled it out, and he like literally just watched him. Like he was fucking this close like uh, to the guy. And we were, like, right behind Isaac's head, like, right here, watching it the whole time. The dude's skin starts fucking falling off. His head starts splitting. The fucking arms come out of his back. And his fucking eyeballs literally fall out of his sockets. That's the beginning of the second game. Actually insane. The last few years, my ears have been projecting a game of cars when I have genetics and fire skin. Locus, I see. I think we're getting tats on my ears instead. Oh shit, dude. This looks like a boss area if I've ever seen one. To be honest, what I want is a couple piercings, some hair I can style to how I wish. What I want, which is long for boy singers or painted nails, pretty so much as for not be judged. People suck, man. People fucking suck. I don't understand why people expressing themselves is such a problem. For some people. <clears throat> people are so fucking lame, dude. That creepy ass noise that I keep hearing. Craig! <laughs> Hacker man's. Hacker man's complete. I can stream for about 10 more minutes, lads. And then I gotta hop off. <clears throat> to Sergeant G. Cochran from Special. From Spec. From Spec R. Friesner. I don't know what they're hauling with our trucks, but they're way past the Lord load limit. I'm up to my eyeballs and broken axles and burnt out motors. Tell your crews to ease up, will you? And how about sending some food our way? Pictures have been mighty slim lately. Alright, alright, I said a beer for the rest of it. You're a champion, Lucian. Thanks for hanging, dude. survive that. Holy shit. We 
get him one day. Fuck those bitches. Fuck those bitches. Fuck those bitches. Forgot to turn the lights back down. Fuck those bitches. I start stuff like piercing in college. Hell yeah, dude. Six form because there won't be as many bitches. Why are there so many bitches? Why? Why? I'm assuming I'm going to use this thing at some point. Christian fascist imperialism, that's why. That's a great summary. I, I hate that noise. I could really do without that noise. People are either insecure about themselves when they have a laugh with friends or just bored. Yeah. Yeah. I'm waiting. All right, friends are here. Let's find the friends. You have prime? Can you get a prime sub? I have no prime. You heard about the transfer? Yeah, me neither. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you for asking, T Dog. About time. Isaac, you made it. Thank God. He's salty. He's salty. This reminds me of time splitters. Isaac. Honestly. Yeah, maybe we should give you two some time alone, huh? What the hell Damn. is that? Damn. It means for someone who's in the past, you're awfully glad to see him. We need him. This mission needs Come on, him. We need him or you need him. Now you got something to say to me, Captain? Stop. Just stop. Yeah. We Isaac Cuck is back. That machine and we don't even know where it is yet. I do. I mean, I think I know how to find it. Well, I've been digging through what's left of the research notes, and... I thought all that stuff was destroyed. Well, computer data, yes. But the written logs discuss a signal tracking experiment that pinpointed the machine's exact location. Oh. Well, I think if we repeat it, we can do the same. But, it's at the other end of the complex. Yeah, fine. Fine, let's have a look. I could use a change of scenery. Oh, yeah, we got to him, boys. We got to him. He's a real asshole, you know that? So T-Dog, remember Ellie from the previous game? Isaac and Ellie got together and had a relationship in betwixt the two games. And then Isaac was too fucked up in the head and he just couldn't get past everything that happened to him so they broke up. And then she got with this dude here, this douchebag. And uh, now they're together. But it's seeming like the feelings are coming back. Oh yeah, we have him. Mr. Stewie Girl, he is. Isaac got cucked and he's ready for revenge. We have him consider honestly considering leaving the country next 10 years. It would be nice, I feel like, to live elsewhere. Dude, I work remotely. It would, I could just move to fucking Italy. Yeah, Faye, don't come to the UK. Same shit's happening here. True. Fucking Tories. Yeah, she survived. We actually made it out of the game together. She she rescued me from the last little, little section there. After we destroyed the marker. All right, I think uh, I think we're gonna. Do some bench shit here, and then uh, I think that'll be it. Pulse rifle, nice. 
semiconductor. Reload one damage. Oh, that's plus one reload, plus damage. Okay, I see. More damage! Always more damage. Alright, what do we have here? Little crafticles? Little crafties? We got it. We don't have shit. We don't have shit. Can't make any. Alright. <coughs> By the way, as an American, why do people come to the UK? <laughs> oh, you mean like to visit or to live? I've heard and looking elsewhere, it's not great. Oh, it's a holiday, I mean. I mean, I visited London back in 2015. It was beautiful. It's a very, like, it's a whole different world over there. I don't know. Everything's, like, has so much history and get to see the sights, experience a different culture. I remember I went to the Imperial War Museum there. That was really nice. Went to the, the Tower of London, so I kind of, kind of did some touristy shit, but we also stayed in like an Airbnb flat, like, I can't remember where exactly. Um, I think we stayed for like five to seven days or something. A few days at least. It was exotic without any learning. Yeah. <laughs> it, it is, yeah, it's very, it's extremely different, but everyone speaks English. Moist, you seem like you'd like the band Sabaton. Never heard of that band. Let me look them up. I do want to go to um, Scotland and, and Ireland. Just to see it, man. Just to see that shit. I'm looking up Sabaton right now. Oh my god, look at these fucking chads. Look at these fucking chads, dude. <laughs> oh yeah. They look like if Motorhead, um, if Motorhead and Opeth had a baby. And then there's this guy on the fucking, this guy's like, let me guess. Let me guess, he's the, he's either the lead singer or the drummer, that guy. <clears throat> Todd's more interesting, Northern better, better culture. <laughs> All right, hold on, let me, let me get out of here. I like the music in this game. Very cinematic sounding. They just leave me? Like, what the fuck, dude? Hey, wait for Isaac. Isaac, we're just outside. Yeah, and we're freezing. Hurry your ass up. They just left my ass. All right, we're gonna we're gonna stop right here, right before this little this little rendezvous. That was a good sesh. Oh, wait, let's see. Let's see how far into the game we are. Wait. Oh. Thought it would tell me my save slot. Oh, I need to quit the game and start up again. Damn. <laughs> Just trying to see where uh, where I was at. All right, folks.
I recommend the song Red Baron Heard. I will add it to my likes right now. Thank you for the wreck, dude. This looks like some fucking metal. What kind of, what kind of, uh, what genre is this? What genre of metal is this? Sabaton. Oh my god, dude. What's this guy wearing? Swedish metalers. I'm in. I'm fucking in, dude. Swedish metal. I'm in. Opeth is one of my favorite bands. And they're like Norwegian or some shit. Or they're Swedish too, I can't remember. Oh, I shall see you in a bit. Lucian. Thank you for hanging out, chatting. Had a great time. Thank you for the support. It means a lot, man. <clears throat> Thanks for staying up during crackhead hours when you have exams like fucking two weeks away. Appreciate it. I will be back probably on Monday. Tentatively on Monday. Definitely Tuesday. But uh, we shall see. If I'm back on Monday, it's Rocket League. If I'm back on Tuesday, it is more Dead Space. Or maybe I'll do Rocket League. I don't fucking know what I'm doing with my life. If you're new to the channel and you haven't already, hop in the Discord so you know when I go live. I put all my updates in there. I stream like four to five nights a week, usually on the weekdays. Um, metal, I think, rock. I'm not getting music. I usually use music in battles and wars. Oh, shit. <laughs> Sounds hype. I will steal it. Hollow Knight plushies. Isn't he great? Isn't he fucking sick? The only thing I'm upset about is his little nail. His little nail came undone. See this little this little white thread here? This connected his nail to his hand, so it's kind of kind of fucked up. But other than that, dude, I came home one time and my old roommate's dog had Hollow Knight in its mouth. Let me tell you, I almost went to jail. I almost went to jail. Just kidding, I would never hurt a dog. Tuesday is your birthday? Wait, really? Oh shit, man. What do you got planned? Yeah, Hollow Knight, baby. Wait, are you off already, Babu? Well, good shit, man. If I don't see you, happy birthday. 18th birthday. God damn. Wait, that's drinking age over there, isn't it? Or is that, or is that 16? Nothing really. Yeah, I mean, you have fucking dick load of exams, bro. That's crazy. <clears throat> Don't they know it's your fucking birthday? Oh, 18th of April. Okay, okay. <laughs> it's your 16th. Oh, shit. All right, all right. I didn't know what day Tuesday was. Well, fuck yeah, dude. If I don't see ya, happy fucking birthday, Lucian. Feels like a Midwestern goodbye. If I don't see ya, till next time, partner. Adios. Adios, partner. God, this music is so intense. This reminds me, I said this in the first stream, this reminds me of a mixture of Batman music and the Sam Raimi Spider-Man movies music. But yes, guys, that is going to do it for tonight. Adios, Lucian, Babu, Faye, thank you guys so much for hanging out. Love you, Tessa. And uh, I'll probably be back next week. Well, I will be back next week, but possibly Monday or Tuesday. Until then, have a wonderful weekend. I hope it's fucking amazing. And we'll see you next time. Peace, guys. <laughs>